Next, Joe Abram has an interview with Jane Fonda that was filmed just after she completed her role in the current movie, The China Syndrome. How much of a, a decision does social awareness have on you in making decisions to accept movie scripts, or does it have any impact? Yeah, it, it has a lot. The, the first consideration is always whether the project is good entertainment. Uh, I didn't always feel that way, but I learned a number of years ago that you, uh, if it's propaganda you're after, don't try to make a movie. Mm -hmm. Make a documentary, make a speech, but not a movie, because no one will see it. So first, is it entertaining, and then, uh, is it, is it, is this something that people will come out of feeling stronger, better about themselves, more courageous, angry, because that's good, scared, because that's good, mm -hmm. anything so long as it's not cynical, numb, or depressed. You know, I don't want to contribute to a culture that is deadening people. Some positive more than reinforcement. They already are. Yeah. yeah. So if any of those things are true and it's thought-provoking... Um... But I wonder about people, if, if you're unfairly described as being super socially conscious, if, you're, if perhaps you were not who you are, you would be a normal housewife, perhaps. Uh, I use that description to mean a non-working woman who happens to run a household, who's active in politics. And there are millions of women like that in this mm -hmm. country. But perhaps because of your position, we accelerate and we magnify your involvement which really maybe is not that dramatic, it's just what you think you should do, but other people do too. I wonder if, if, if you feel that, that distortion somewhat, I guess is what I'm describing, really does distort what Jane Fonda truly is inside. Uh, That's a tough one. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I agree with you that there are many non-professional women who run households who are extremely active politically. Yeah. Uh, as much as I am. The difference, and I don't think that it's any sort of hostility or manipulativeness on the part of the powers that create the persona, right. is that when you're famous and you have access to the media, everything you do is visible. So, uh, and that's both good and bad. It means that I can have more impact, which also means that I'd better be real careful about how I use that. Right. Um, it also means that I end up looking like I'm some inhuman person who never spends normal time that other people do, which is also not true. Yeah. Well, you do go shopping? Oh, no. <laughs> not for clothes, anyway. Yeah, All the groceries. clothes I own car come from some rolls. I have, I'm still wearing my coat from Clute. This is from Electric Horseman. Uh, but shop, yeah, I shop grocery for food. Shop. I like to grocery shop. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm real. You do have picky. the normal uh, things in some regard that, that other people who are watching you now do. Yeah, laundry, <laughs> too many years of diapers. Yeah. Fetching because the house is too dirty, which it always is. And you do understand, I presume, and, and I would ask you if you confront it, there are people who see you who really resent the things that you did during the Vietnam War. Uh, still, even though perhaps many people would say you were right, still they resent what you did. Uh, does that still uh, form a part of your life today, that resentment on the behalf of people? Well, not nearly to the degree that it used to, no. as, as you pointed out. I mean, I think many people have changed uh, a lot and very profoundly in this country since Watergate and the war and with everything else that's happening. But, I mean, there's no question, when you have strong convictions and you take stands that are controversial, you're going to, there are going to be people who don't like you. Um, but it hasn't hurt your career, to use a... a it did for a while. It's really? not now. It did hurt your career? It may again. Yeah. You just, I just think you sort of, you do what needs to be done. If I had to choose, I would choose my activism rather than my career. I will hope I can always do both. But, um... I heard you say something last night, Jane, which I thought was interesting and I disagreed with. You said, if you someone asked you if you wanted to make a message with this movie, and you said, no, if I had wanted to do that, I would have made a documentary. My personal opinion is your message is much more profound and provocative and pervasive, to use three Ps, with this movie and in most movies than any documentary could ever be. Uh, I, I know what you're saying and I agree with you to an extent. When I said what I did uh, about I would have made a documentary, um, it was responding to what I felt was someone saying, you made this movie in order to, to make an anti-nuclear message. Yeah. and. Uh, 
I, I'm just, I'm not interested in making a film about an anti-nuclear well, message. I, I didn't, then I, didn't, I would have done a documentary yeah. or make a speech. I don't think it is about that at all. I anyway. agree. Yeah. I think it's much more universal, much broader than that. But I'm concerned people in the business, I mean, people know who watch my show, how I feel about the media and how uh, I, we understand that most of what they get is such pablum and crap uh, and rarely really gets good information that we can base our lives on. Uh, but I wonder if they, not being inside the business, will really see that. I don't know yet. I think the jury is just going, getting ready to go out. I don't what know do you either. Yeah. I don't know either. Um, I think probably what will happen, and what usually happens with, with movies that are like this, that have a point of view and are controversial, it's not that people come out and say, okay, from now on, I'm going to attack the news stations and I'll pick it and so on. It's like a seed is planted. And so, you know, sometime later when they've been watching the news every night and they begin to understand if they're not fortunate enough to be watching your station and some of the other more responsible news stations, why am I being fed this pablum? Yeah. Why is there so much concentration on rapes or mugging or violence when I want some analysis of what is going on in China or in, you know, whatever, uh, more responsible news reporting? Then they might think back on the film uh, it's an accumulative consciousness that is created. You know, there's been network before. Mm -hmm. there's, there have been a number of films that have dealt with the problems of communication, corporate irresponsibility, etc. As more of these movies get made, it's going to, I think, generally affect public consciousness, so we'll be more alert and aware, and that's good. Jane Fonda, thanks very much. We'll be right back.